Hello boys, it's me, Kuliyoshi here, and welcome back to my 100% blind playthrough of Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. In the last episode, we went through World 6 Heaven, the final world, trying to teach Scares a lesson, but we weren't quite able to get the job done, so now we need to finish what we are started. This will be the finale, because these are the last two battles you have to do, and I will be trying to freestart them as well. So anyways, Squares, you're facing me. I hope you're fine with that. <laughs> Did Squares just... Apologize? <clears throat> I know a simple apology isn't going to fix everything. And more importantly, it doesn't excuse my actions. But either way, I'm sorry. Is this for real? It sure is. No, I was being sincere. Then why wouldn't we believe <clears throat> you if you're being honest? Uh. <clears throat> Captain's report. Square's rampage has come to an end. The worlds are at peace once more. <laughs> peep, 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 peep. Um, thank you. You know? I didn't expect everything to end like this. Then what were you expecting? I don't know. Explosion? Explosions? <laughs> Real original. Well, you don't have to be so rude about it. Right. This is all so much. You've taken me in as if I never tried to destroy you. Taking my leave. Huh? Where are you going? Someplace where I won't trouble any of you ever again. What? But we finally became friends! Friends? Duh! I don't recall that decision being made. Really? Then let's make it official right now! Just hang on a second. Let's have a battle together and seal the deal. It'll be fun. I don't think it's that simple. Actually, it is. Let's do this, Squares. Yeah, we have to do a battle again. With a speedrun timer. Okay. Oh, in case you didn't notice, I changed my uh, portrait up a little bit. Because, uh, why the heck not? Ah. <sighs> oh, terrible start, though. I thought for this final video I would do something a bit differently. Ah. Gosh dang it. Why am I making so many mistakes? Impossible. 
Many times has he said that? Well, he sure is a pro at down stacking. I'm not sure if I like it. Yeah, well, time to try again. And no, I'm not doing T-spin strategies because I'm not good at them. I'd much rather do what I've been doing for the past minute and just try and get better luck with him. There he goes. I never back down. And yes, I fixed the replay as thing as well. So I just uh, deleted all of my replays from earlier to fix that. It feels hot. <laughs> He's blushing. Blushing. Is that what this sensation is? You're all right, Squares. I like you. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna have lots of fun teasing you. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> it's fine, Marl. Remember how we all welcomed you with open arms? Squares is getting the same treatment. Yeah, you're right. And thank goodness. Everything's finally taking an upturn. Squares? Squares, what's going on? My body, it won't move. What's happening? Mmm, there might be a different opponent. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> there are other boss opponents in this game, but uh, I guess we have to face scares again. And it's speedrun, so thank goodness. <laughs> uh, so. Everyone, stay back. Oh boy. Screaming in pain. What's going on with squares? He became too powerful. See what? Too powerful. His original plan was to erase all of you from existence. While I was under his control, he amassed an enormous amount of power. He no longer has any use for it now. But the power inside him has yet to be released. Oh man, that's bad. If this continues, he'll explode. He'll explode, actually. Wait, he actually will explode. <laughs> Problemo. It's a rather huge problemo, in fact. 
Insurmountable power is coursing through squares as we speak. As a result, he's become significantly stronger. And we have no time to waste. Peep, peep, peep. Yes. I'm so ready for this. All this explodey power stuff doesn't matter. What matters is that our friend needs our help. Amity. Captain's report. Our attempt to rescue Squares is about to commence. This will be our final showdown. Everyone, here we go. Alright, we're going to use the default team this time because uh, the last time we did that, it was not fun. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do this. I'm here. Because I, I, I want to trust the game this time to give me the right time. Also, I think it would be a little bit better. By the way, these battles are not quite as bad, though this is the final battle, so it might be a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna have to attack him really early. Let's do that. Let's do that. And there we go! In case you didn't know, you don't actually need a 5-chain to KO these opponents. If you're really strong like me, you can just do a 4-chain and that'll be enough to KO them. In case you didn't know, and yes, I did that battle in less than 30 seconds. That's why I said, it was, said these skill battles could be easy, because if you do that, uh, yeah, they kind of just die. <laughs> so, that was one of... So, for a final battle, that was kind of unimpressive. <laughs> but, oh well. What can you do? taken a lot out of him. Allow me to express my gratitude in his place. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone. Hooray! Well, then, I guess this is it. Oh. Yeah, guess so. The worlds are trying to go back to the way they're supposed to be. I don't think we have much time. The worlds are starting to split apart. What? But, 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 but why? Well, because of Mr. Sleepyhead here. He was the one who merged the worlds together in the first place. Now that that's over, everything's going back to normal. Simple as that. Those words come out of her mouth. Goo, 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 goo. Well, we're getting our memories wiped, right? I 
Figured I'd take this opportunity to be honest for once. <laughs> Amity? Yes? Cheer up. But it's hard. Then, would you be happier if we never met? What? Let's say you knew from the start that we'd have to split up in the end. Would you have chosen not to meet us, so you wouldn't have to go through this pain? No, not at all! We had so many fun and exciting adventures together! They were some of the happiest and wonderfulest memories of my life! I'm glad we met us. I'm glad I met all of you! Darn right you are! Saying goodbye stinks. But it's just a tiny part of the wonderful times we got to spend together. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Thank you. I love you so much. Well, looks like someone's finally cheering up. You can be a real handful, you know that? You said some really nice things there, Es. Didn't she, Carby? Goo goo goo. And you know what? I can see the same thing. I'm glad I met you, Marlin Squares. Thank you, Arl. Everyone. Yeah. Thanks. Sure, Squares went a little overboard. Without you two, none of us would have met each other. And we never would have had all those fun battles. So was the plan for you two to go back and watch over the worlds together again? That's right. For the time being, at least. But Squares and I have been talking, and... We want to travel across the universe and visit all kinds of different worlds. That's awesome! There's still so much to see, and so much to learn. As for me, I couldn't have seen the error of my ways without help from all of you. One day, I'll return the kindness. And I just might pay all of you a visit. I don't know when or how it will happen, but I'll figure it out. That's a promise. <laughs> Then I'll hold you to it. Until then, Squares. I'll be waiting for you. Goo 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 goo. Yeah. Well, we better wrap things up. Man. Ringo. Pee pee pee. The best times in our lives always seem to go by the fastest, don't they? Tell me about it. <sighs> uh, hey! Uh, sorry. You go first. No, no. Please. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> 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 peep, peep? It's all gonna be okay. Huh? The bond that ties our hearts together is stronger than any barrier between our worlds. We may not see each other again. And we may not remember each other. But I know my heart will. Ringo. Does that make sense, T? Yeah, it does. Everything you said is true. Our adventure is proof <coughs> of it. And if you say it's all going to be all right, then I trust you. What's so funny? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. That was just a really heartfelt response. Got me a little misty-eyed. You're misty-eyed? <laughs> you were the one laughing at me. Pee 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 pee. Ah, you too, oh. <laughs> well, I guess it's time. So, how shall we say our farewells? How about at the same time? 
Good thinking. How about on three? Okay, let's do it. One. Two. I'll, I'll never, never forget, forget you. you. Alright, and that's the game, boys. <laughs> so that finally finishes off our buying playthrough. This one definitely took a lot longer than I was anticipated. It was certainly more challenging and also a lot more annoying and difficult. Uh, a lot of the new modes definitely got in our way a couple of times, and there are a couple of moments I probably could have done a little bit better, but yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all I really have to say. And my goodness, that one skill battle is rough. Of course, since then, I found out a way to do the skill battle. You know the secret to beating that Zed character? You're supposed to just spam Tetris's on him. I tried doing it today. While he still kills me most of the time, I find out that uh, if you are able to... Uh, Hit him with a Tetris before he has a chance to uh, set up anything big. He won't actually set up a big chain until much later, giving you plenty of times to send Tetrises back at him. I haven't actually gotten the 15k point goal, but since then, I have gotten the goal required for that particular battle twice. However, neither of those I have actually uh, won on, so... It's still definitely one of the hardest skill battles ever. Same for Remoris, he was kind of annoying, but I figured out I could just spam Tetrises and do other counters. Essentially, to win those battles, you have to counter pretty much everything they throw at you, otherwise you're basically dead. And still be, like, really aggressive. There were also a couple of moments where if I was a little bit better, then after doing that for long enough, after I get the score goal, I probably could have just spammed T-spins to win. But again, I don't know how to T-spin properly, so that wouldn't have worked really well. <laughs> that being said, though, if you do know how to T-spin, you can defeat these opponents really quickly. Like, I watched quite a few people that play Tetris really well, and I assume they could beat those opponents in like 20 seconds while still getting a decent high score. That being said, that one's kind of difficult, and uh, if you do that strategy, then they'll die too quickly, so you kind of have to find a mix in between it. The best mix I could find, though, for the first half was to just um, keep on chaining using Poil instead of Tetris, and hope to get a 17, and hope that would be enough, because that's about all I could hood do, because <laughs> if I did anything else, it would be... A little bit crazy. Of course, now I know, though, if you're a beginner, Tetris is better to use in those skill battles for a high score. In fact, the game even knows that, which is why they make you play Tetris in those particular later battles. It's also faster and more aggressive than Poyo Poyo. Poyo does a lot of damage all at once, while Tetris does several damage really fast over periods of time. So, it can actually really compete with Te- Oh, well, in fact, because of that, they're kind of balanced out. Though, most of the time, if you're really good at Tetris, then Poyo usually does not have a chance of winning because they just get garbage after garbage after garbage gets sent, sent to you, and if you're not fast enough in Poyo, you'll just keep on getting that garbage until you straight up die. It's not fun at first, but you can- build around it it's just really difficult to do but yeah that's that's how you're supposed to do the skill battles for points for anybody who was confused and probably angry why i wasn't able to do that so well i found out that um if you spam tetrises it works really well in fact i beat the opponent the moment i tried to uh, spamming tetrises still though i i still got surprised that an ai in this game was able to do a six or seven chain in the regular games that feat would be impossible pretty much only humans could do a seven or higher chain but i was proven wrong <laughs> apparently that is one cheap ai they had there hmm I don't know how they managed to create something like that, let's be honest. Because, <laughs> uh, for the longest time, I'm pretty sure only humans could do 5 chain or higher 
because usually the AI is limited to a free chain, and I actually mean it. If we ever play uh, different games, like, there's actually two other Poyo games on the Switch I can play that I'm not going to play right now, but if you play, you'll, you'll see what I mean. That being said, they are still annoying in their own way, because if they time their two or three chains, once they start doing those, they could do them really quick, back-to-back, -back, sort of how Tetris uh, attacks you. And if you're not ready for it, you can die if you get really unlucky, or just don't set off your chain in time. There's lots of things that can happen. The guards in particular can hurt. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> All right. And just like before, the game goes back to its title screen after you finish the game. And now if we go back to, we have to go back to adventure to do some extra stuff. Oh, and by the way, I should have known this. There are extra stages in this game, because of course there are. And there's a uh, four-star mode as well. So it looks like we're not done with this game yet. <laughs> Again, I was blind, so I didn't know that this was coming. Just like before, I didn't want to do all the story modes, so I figured I would uh, continue for that later. So with that in mind, uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next video as we continue our blind playthrough with the extra stages. I'll be simply just beating all the extra stages. Even if I don't get free stars, I'm still going to continue because I'd much rather get this game finished. Until then, though, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.